Okay, right off the bat, I just brought up the live stream. Who the freak is this character? Hi, who are you? This is gonna be an interesting one. Whoa, you must be the legendary traveler. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, are you following the tournament too? It's a pleasure to what? meet you. I'm Charlotte, a it's reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. Settings. I've been posted here ah, to cover Fontaine. the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Since you've also taken interest in the <gasps> tournament, how would you it's like a to be game a special tournament? contributor for my column? What? Yeah, of course you'll receive payment as a contributor, and your name will even appear in the credits. If I'm not mistaken, you're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Wait, what does that sign I really mean? Do have an eye for huh? a story, On the right. It seems like this will be a solid I piece. I can see it now. Exclusive inside scoop on the renowned traveler and secrets of the TCG Tournament Masters. How does that sound? Yeah, it has a nice ring to it, no? Eh, it's just a working title for now. Any journalist worth their salt knows how to look past the surface and get the real story on any breaking news. But it's important to always keep okay. the stories based so she's on like actual a reporter. Facts. We can always discuss more details later. No! I, I, I know! She's a journalist! I'm using my brain! Oh my goodness. My massive but brain! I'll be keeping my eyes open for any other potential news. Dude, I'm so ready for when a TCG event. When breaking news, I'm always the first on the scene. Ah, anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. There's a lot more exciting news waiting to be uncovered. So, so let's have a look. Is that a Fontaine character or is that a... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. A reporter from Fontaine. Hmm? Pretty sick. Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Oh! Wow! So this is the King of Invocations Grand Prix! A card snatcher? Hmm. A card Very snatcher! City on the How terrible! With talent in TCG tournament. Kaya? The prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain! Down on the ground, the dice spin around While high in the sky This is pretty, this is a bop! Bright. Oh, a Hu Tao, huh? Alright All right. Challenger. I, uh -oh. Aidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this. Oh, it's Kazuha coming he back. So these are all our bosses we're facing. Oh, Beto versus her. All right. <laughs> the nerve saying that in the presence of me and A. Well, I think from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? Hmm. <gasps> Your you design. Tired after the walk back to shore. Okay. Perhaps I should let you go first. So, wait, whoa, 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 cat camera, something, what, cat box? The tournament has already finished. <laughs> I used forbidden hand at the opportune moment. <laughs> Rest assured, there's no destination I can Whoa, 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 okay, here's the cat girl. Oh. Yeah, this character looks great. Whoa! Dang, um, you're a oh. four star? How? Dude, the cat scratch attack. <laughs> it's her. I thought it was a pet. No, that's just her. She's a delivery cat girl. Okay, that's great. That art Hello. is amazing. That's wow. so. This is Sumeru. There are so many huge mushrooms. Yo, me is back. They're big enough to lie on. Oh, that's beautiful. Holy flip. <laughs> So why is she in Sumer, bro? Flip. <laughs> hey, wait! What? <laughs> I guess we die. <laughs> because of Yoimiya. Okay. Dang! No uh, one's even talked yet, and we already have our first thing. Okay, so this reminds me more of how um, Honkai Impact 3rd does their live stream. So, quick and to the point? Quick and to the point. I think that's fine. Yep. All right. So is this journalist girl going to be like uh, our new presenter or is this like a one-time thing for Genshin? I think that may have been like a sneaky little introduction. A sneaky little introduction. Uh, okay. I love the... I love both new characters they showed off. They one we're great. actually getting now and, you know... One, one maybe for later. The future and probably one of our first ones we're getting. Oh, for Fo from Fontaine? Probably. Probably. I would, I would assume. Probably. They both seem... To be giving me four star energy from Genshin, but they both look great. They both look fantastic. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this. Let's do it. Yeah, because this is pre recorded. The Gen oh, well, hi. That went on for a while, actually. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Genshin Impact oh, Version 3.7 special program. Ah. I'm your host, Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine. And I have a new friend here with me. 
Make sure the truth comes first and report stories that stand out the most. We need this more reporters Charlotte like that. From the oh, I see a that. To meet I you. see that box back hey, there. Everybody. There's a cat. I'm Maya Alkitadel, the voice of Charlotte. And as mentioned just now, Charlotte is a reporter from Fontaine, and she's currently working for the Steambird, which many of you may have probably already heard of. Oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. And if I remember correctly, yeah. Mona also writes a column for the Steambird. Oh, so it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's that one. Famous, remember that. And people all across Nevada are reading it. Yes, that's right. But I'm not the only special correspondent in our special program today. Ooh. We also have other special correspondents reporting from the field that will help us bring all the information we need about this upcoming version. So what? exciting! Okay, I bet everyone's ready to see what we have in store, so why don't we dive right in? <laughs> okay, seems Ooh. there's oh, quite so a lot good. going on in the picture here. I see a couple familiar faces, and oh, let man. me guess. The cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte, right? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's the one with the camera. She is nice a journalist box. after all, so she's got her equipment ready at all times. So in the upcoming version, Charlotte will be appearing in the event storyline, where she'll be dispatched to cover a popular Genius Invocation TCG competition. Given that the competition is an international event, Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her news materials. Okay, specifically that only four, so not for any particular reason. Nations in the picture here. Does that mean that <clears throat> she's going to be traveling around to that then? <laughs> you bet. As a foreign correspondent, she'll definitely be checking out the event venues in different locations. So get ready to embark on a genius invocation TCG journey. Whoop, whoop. However, a keen and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the genius invocation TCG event, even though that's really important. But during this journey, she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler. Ooh, a strange case, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, that yeah. That does actually sound really newsworthy. Yeah, right? Are we talking but, case as uh, in like, a, a, like a, a sleuthing the case? Or are we talking a case as in like a cat box case? So I think a card you snatcher what happens, case. Uh, uh, make sure you don't miss out. Maybe Yay! it involves a sus cat. We hope our travelers have a great time in this event. Cat in burglar. addition to the event storyline we just that introduced, cat's just vibing with the them, Adventurers right? Guild has also prepared some other event mini games to spice up <gasps> the TCG tournament. Yo, that bow! That right. bow looks sick! Ibis Piercer. Including a tour of wonders, Zero Hour Invocation, Ever Motion Mechanical Painting, and Heart of the Dice. Who do you think is going to use the bow? Wonders, the Yoing organizer has set up Don't know. points in various nations. After you complete the required challenges by navigating obstacles or defeating monsters, Please just you'll be able to obtain just, commemorative stamps oh, at the checkpoints. Just grind you should collect more just, of these stamps do that. during your sightseeing tour to obtain the corresponding rewards. Okay, I see. So the stamps will be like proof of your experience traveling in different nations during the event. You know, just like collecting stamps in a passport. <gasps> That's cute. Exactly. I like that. Oh. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set, so you won't oh. be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, oh. you'll have to build a deck by selecting cards out New of the boss deck prepared card. by the All right. organizers. Okay. Dude, Zhang Li, by the way, coming in. Faces. What? Okay. That's silly. Oh, who's out like too? Already. And uh, right. what about Small Edge Ever Boy. Motion Mechanical Painting and Heart of the Dice. Small Edge Boy. Wait, Zhao? That's played it. Ever Motion Mechanical Painting before, but this game introduced by a dreamer from Fontaine has undergone a few new changes. Okay, so I like this around, game admittedly, so this is cool. the position of cool. the mechanical painting surfaces by swapping or rotating them first, and then install the appropriate gears on the preset points oh, to I restore like the that. painting. And I've heard that the paintings are all based on Genius Invocation TCG cards. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's what? Gonna be that so actually is cool. kind of fun. And based on the people we've met, you should never underestimate Fontaine's pursuit of mechanical designs. Of course. But of course, I'm sure our keen travelers should be able to restore those paintings with just a few attempts. Or more oh, than just a few attempts if, you, if people that. need it. <laughs> Huh. Lastly, we have Heart of the Dice, which is a combat game mode. During combat, you'll be able to obtain random elemental dice by defeating monsters. Hmm. Use the suppressive roll skill to consume what? all the dice you possess and unleash a shockwave that deals damage to nearby opponents, oh, okay. while also granting you random buffs. More dice consumed matching the elemental type of the active character will result in greater damage dealt by level shockwave 40s, do it. and higher chances of obtaining more buffs. Okay, it's those level like forties are just trying dice, their best so to stay alive for longer than two seconds. <laughs> yep, well, and travelers will be happy to know that there are a variety of rewards waiting in these events. 
In addition to Primo gems and enhancement materials, rewards also include a new four-star bow called Ibis Piercer. Okay, what does it do? Exclusive refinement materials. Yay! So exciting! But what does it do? <laughs> all right, that's all we have regarding the main event. <laughs> Dang it! Version. Nope, they're not gonna say on anything to on that. I have to wait for the oh, freaking oh, wait, Twitter wait. post, I guess. That may be ah, also the darn. version event. I still have something else to report. Oh, okay. In what version 3.7, there will oh. not only be a genius invocation event, but also a major update to the TCG oh. game itself. What? Oh, okay, I that's awesome. The what can we expect so to far. see in the new update then? So, in the upcoming version, many new cards will be added to Genius Invocation TCG, including character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. Heck and yeah. it's also oh, noteworthy flip. that the cards of the Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro Archon will also be available after the update. Ooh. So we can expect to see some incredible and fun new decks. Oh, nice. flip. Okay, that's going to be quite the update. And there's more. So with so many cards being added, how could we fully enjoy them without some new game modes? So in version 3.7, the Arena of Champions mode will oh. be available too. And, Baby. and what'll be different about this mode? Glad you asked. In this mode, travelers must use their deck to duel against each other and accumulate a total of five victories. Ooh. Oh no. As you can imagine, that can be a serious test even for a seasoned duelist. Plus, mm. three defeats will result in a failed challenge attempt, and you'll have Dang. to start all over. So if oh, you're no. feeling, yeah, you're if you're feeling confident dog, about your stop. deck and your TCG skills, then be sure to come to the cat's tail and give it a shot. Okay, that sounds... Who's knocking on the door? Sounds pretty intense. Will there be anything for someone less experienced, you know... Maybe like Oof. myself. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I got you. Okay, so another TCG mode is called the Forge Realms Temper, which will also be available. You'll be allowed to configure Ooh. the difficulty of the game mode, as well as to choose from a bunch of additional conditions to score extra points. Oh, okay, whoa, plus four HP. I'll definitely be picking some conditions that suit my decks the best. <laughs> <laughs> What, what's what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Mm. That was cute. Where is it coming from? <laughs> oh, that was fun. I got fun. so caught up in listening to you two talking that I almost forgot that I'm on the job. Anyway, here I am. Aww. Aww. I have an urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a good review. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Ow. It's fine, Dale. It's fine. Stay strong. <laughs> the cringe. Don't let it get to you. I mean, like, it's kind of cute, but it's at adorable. the same time, ow. That, that last sound was really cute. The ones leading up to it, however, were interesting. It didn't <laughs> Welcome back, travelers. Our two special correspondents this time are... Dun, da, da, da. Oh, it's me. It's Jenny Okabori, the Yay! voice of Noemiya. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here doing the special program. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Wow, Yay! I love her voice. Woo! Meowdy, travelers. I'm Julia Goo, uh, voice actress for the new playable character, Kirara. Okay, so you were Ki in a kitty box Ki just Yara? now, so Ki thank Yara. you for that urgent delivery. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yup, that's just Kirara's job. She is a courier like no other. More like purrier. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> for <that>. Ow. <laughs> I love before that. Before we get to hear more about Kirara, why don't we check her out first? Yes. Yay! Let's do it. Dude, I love how the, the oh. scenery here is wonderful. Dang, that design is great. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. Perfect. What weapon type are you? I have no idea. I, I'm a, just a pugilist. What? Am through. I assuming? I'm not, I'm not seeing an element either. Wait, are you? No, she's Dendro. She's definitely Dendro. It's green. No, I'm saying in her basic attacks, there's. Service she's not a catalyst. Fire. Yeah. So is is this is this our fierce pugilist? I don't like know. actually? Oh my gosh, you want her to be my best friend? She's so cute! I don't know. So cute. I didn't. <laughs> I thought I saw a sword at one my point, but. I oh, was just That's her kicking. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. I so know. Cute. Did you guys see her in the little box? It was like, oh, Wow, she's it's Kirara. Oh, <laughs> Kirara. is like really cool. I, I, I thought it was jealous. a Y. I want to eat those slimes. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Wait, eating slimes? Kiara what? works as a courier for Komania Express and often makes international deliveries. She's also Kira. a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's nothing she Nekomata. can't deliver. Oh, okay, that explains mm. like the cute little kitty cat tails and why her shoes are like those cute little cat claws. They have I don't think those are shoes. Those are not shoes. Those are her feet. So, uh, actually, uh, those are just her regular feet. 
Oh, yeah, that's Varys for to... Kirara. Uh, even though she could use her yokai powers to have human feet, she's still a Nakamata and feels more comfortable using her own claws to move. That and makes her sense. Nada, so nada. I'm going to really say that are. over and over. Flip. And also, Kirara has two tails. Can you tell us anything about that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it's said that the tail represents a Nekomata's potential. So, with two tails, I guess this means that Kirara is a really powerful yokai. Some bandits might assume that Kirara is oh, a okay. target, thinking that it would be easy to steal a package from a young girl, fools. but <laughs> but they are in fact <laughs> fools. <laughs> the and this fools. mistake always ends it with the bandits a running off and she gives a good thrashing. I'm obsessed with this, so... She's awesome! Just little... <laughs> kitty cat girl boss <laughs> like okay and having her as your courier basically like determines she does look that actually your package a lot of fun. is gonna get there safe that, that is not an English, but it's incredible fine. service oh yeah no doubt about she that she a four star kirara is a very responsible i'm gonna worker say yes do her best to ensure i don't know every order she receives is delivered oh. of course if the client can spare a meow mint she doesn't Ow. mind receiving a good review <laughs> so many cat puns oh my gosh she is so cute and diligent i would definitely give her an extra tip right on the spot absolutely like catnip fish mora whatever she wants <laughs> oh. okay so how did a yokai from inazuma end up working as a delivery person what is what's the what's the line there okay well if you think about it the yokai in inazuma do seem to have a mix of jobs so True. Yeah. well speaking of which okay. even though kiara is a strong yokai she does care about her work and enjoys her job she also enjoys human society, fashion, going to places she's never had the chance to visit before. So hmm. her deliveries give her a way into human society and also allows her to explore new places. To her, working is basically like getting to take a series of uh, <clears throat> expense-free trips. <laughs> ah, Wait, I you see. know what I just realized? Charlotte is technically traveling for work too. So maybe they can get together and enjoy some expense-free outings. Cool. Okay, mm. I think everyone is waiting to learn more about this yokai courier's abilities. Absolutely, yes, correct. Mm. Indeed. For sure. Let's move into Kirara's ah. skills. Oh. <laughs> Kirara is a dendro ah. element sword user and can effectively it is a sword. companions while also Where? making world exploration. <laughs> I more thought I saw a sword. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, the first she slice. Like oh, the first claws. hit is a sword. Good. Yeah, everything else yeah. is cat claws. She is a Nekomata after all. Additionally, her exploration talent allows her to move near birds or other smaller animals without startling them. She's an apex predator. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So it's going to be easier to get like fowl and raw meat and easier to hunt. Yeah, watch out, Timmy. Timmy should watch his back. Oh, <laughs> Poor not Timmy. Timmy. No. <laughs> Boy, he's just getting bullied. No. Sorry. Sass me. <laughs> well, she's always going to keep you well fed, no matter the means. Uh, by tapping her elemental skill, Kirara creates a dendro shield that can protect her from harm. She's a shielder! Okay, what? Are great! They'll keep both her and the huh. delivery safe, which is Love all that shield. matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That and makes sense. holding down sense. the elemental skill will not only huh. grant shields, but also huh. put Kirara in a unique state. Huh. Cool. So the whole thing is that that's huh. the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I need you to so immediately cute. tell me more about it right meow. <laughs> oh, no problem at all. Thank you, yes. In this state, Kirara will deal dendro damage upon slamming into enemies, Boom. but more uniquely, this state will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Cut, cut climbing? Okay. Um, that climb? sounds super useful. So Wait, just show like, this. So just get this straight, she'll be able to just Wait. climb straight up walls? Oh, yeah, she'll be able to go straight up a vertical surface in this state. Um, okay, well, that's oh. amazing. The best thing ever. <laughs> she's gonna be so great Whoa! For Wait a minute! And I guess Just that's up one it of the all. Oh. She's a trustworthy courier. Mm hmm. And finally, with her elemental burst, she smashes the enemy with a special delivery package, oh. which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. These bombs will then explode upon contacting enemies or after a duration. Oh, that's dealing okay. Dendro damage. That's and can we just okay. appreciate the fact? Yeah, that, I was about to say uh, Kazuo. Yeah, yeah. Kazuo or Venti would be because good. I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah. so cute. So uh, cute. She has kitty style attacks. Her skill is definitely the highlight for me, though, man. That is amazing. Bombs. Amazing. What can you do? I can <laughs> climb up she walls. She is adorable. So, aside from Kirara running to various nations making deliveries, I also heard about another one of our friends leaving their home to explore the world. Ooh, so who wait, wants to go on a trip? who could it be? Oh my gosh, wait, is it Yoimiya? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh, at me, a humble oh. PNG. Amazing, okay. A humble PNG, <laughs> you know. 
I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling across story the Story quest. quest! You have information oh. on your Mia story quest! I totally her do. first I was real just one, since thinker. we technically had to do one <laughs> to progress the main story. Okay, so, yeah, her first one was sort of like embedded into the Archon now. quest, so you kind of have to, to do it to and see the outside continue. World. In version yeah. 3.7, the second act to Yoimiya's Karastius Arata story quest is about to begin! Woohoo! Okay, that's pretty on sick. a globe-trotting adventure heading to Sumeru, the Nation of Wisdom, alongside the Traveler. Whoop whoop! It's a pretty far trip. I mean, personally, I'm really looking forward to it, too. Not that I'm biased or anything. Of course not. I seriously cannot wait to experience what happens in the 3.7 update. Right? And, uh, uh huh. And, you know, traveling with a girl is easygoing and cheerful and cool and amazing. Not that I'm biased or anything, as you and <laughs> will be a what? joy. Why are you looking at me for this? Like, the huh? best what, like, what? travel companion. No, I, I, not I, biased what? or anything. What? What? <laughs> But I to didn't... ensure that everyone gets the most out of this story quest, I'm going to be what? a good bean. And I this is because I like Yoimi. This is because I, I, I love this girl. This girl is great. Oh, yeah. story. I'll be good. Bro, I pulled her on release <laughs> day. She is nice so you. good. Thank you. Yes, she is very good. I'm good. <laughs> it's kind of weird that Yoimi was definitely comes, one of the more hated characters when, when they came out. Like she's not an AOE like character. She, she does so much damage. She does a lot of damage. For sure. And we're not biased. No, not no. biased. No, none of us. I mean, I'm Just biased so as flip. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> also so is there like a new boss involved with this? Honesty, I don't I know. I didn't see any in the trailer. Companions can travelers and their teams wholesome quest? They just wholesome quest. Right. That hmm. takes us to our event wishes. I think this okay, is Okay, I'm interested to see this. I'm guessing Kazuo is back. So it's been a while. For further details about 3.7's event wishes, please direct your attention to the big screen. So, Yoimiya. No, I, Miko. Oh, Miko. I just remembered that we're today's reporters. <clears throat> what? Oh. According to reliable sources, the first half of 3.7's event wishes will boost drop rates for Yoimiya and Yaimiko. At mm. the same time, Kirara will also be making her debut in these event wishes. So travelers who want Kirara might want to take note. <sighs> And the second half of version 3.7. <sighs> oh, I'll hate Kaya them again Kazuma already? He's back, baby. Sarah, why are you talking like that? Because we're reporters. Thanks, Sarah. With the help of their companions, we hope that all our travelers will be able to keep Dang. exploring to VAT. There's no favoritism in these banners. The weather, <laughs> the weather Ignore is still weather. <laughs> Anyways, when travelers follow and you and me I've to never Sumeru, heard a more true statement in my life. Old friend Kabe. It, this everyone's still waiting Kabe. for Yulia to come back. Yeah, Kabe's finally getting his uh, hangout of him. Nice. Oh, yeah. Bro, Yula Wunter's just Kabe. crying in a corner, yeah, man. She is, is still not mad. <laughs> it's been like a year, I think, or something. He has certain he didn't even bring her back for the character literally designed for her. I'm sure as we spend time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a lot better. Oh, we're going to be besties in no time. <laughs> oh, best for rest. Interested in learning more about Kave, we'll <laughs> I like how they're bringing, by the way, I'll hate them back because one, we have people like Kave who have run now, Yay. but also everyone who skipped out hate them was waiting for Dia. Stories coming our way. I think we can move on to some news just about saying. other fun events. I'm just saying she's a part of the standard banner. What do you think? I think that's whenever. a very good idea. People didn't know that at the time, though. <laughs> okay, so not I mean, only are there events, I, but there will I mean, also be tons assuming. of incredible rewards and prizes too. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, so Dude, I. that's a cool map. What so, the heck? Without further ado, let that me is very cool. The first event. In version 3.7, the Divine Ingenuity Collector's Chapter event will be available. Oh, I remember this event. This is the one that lets you design your own domain. Oh, that's uh, right. Oh, that's However, right. Oh, this, this one. Okay. Has been upgraded a bit, and the oh. development team has specifically designed some stages for everyone to challenge and get used to the rules. For example, the first stage requires you to build a mechanic to defend a monolith, and the hmm. second will be a coin collecting fiesta that everyone's familiar with. Wow. Mm. Okay, yes, yeah, so fun story. I'm not the best at collecting coins. I, oh, you, you <laughs> get back there and collect those coins. You right missed now. one or two coins. You're not even using No, the no you are. Stop. Why? You're not even using her ability. Areas available, and everyone will be able to get a special item. What? Artificer coins. I want it. You're going to get a lot of them. Thank you. These coins will allow people to buy various buffs from buffs. There's a very aggressive one. Each area to boost their team's I effectiveness. Want it. I now. want it now. Okay, so we'll be able to Give keep getting to stronger now. as we progress. Exactly. Okay, that's the pretty fast. The fourth stage requires everyone to keep their characters alive while they go around collecting coins. 
The last stage features a buff bestower device capable of amplifying your opponent's capabilities, so you're gonna want to destroy that first before engaging them in battle. Yoimiya, so Luke, Yelon, and Kuki. Okay, so just huh. to confirm, we can use huh. all of this while we're making our own domains, yes? Yes. Yes. <sighs> Why did I Aside answer? Aside from different <laughs> landforms, mechanisms, or coins, travelers can also adjust how many stages are active per room, and I'm just gonna make an entire settings. map of coins. Even buffs and buff bestowers. Just all can coins. I just put a bunch of lala churls and then Wait, I can just fight them? That's so cool. Okay, like so a, it sounds like the like travelers 50 will have lala even churls. more creative freedom right. this time around. So For certain characters, yeah, actually that does that seem about everyone right. Everyone should use their imagination and sprinkle as much creativity as they can. 50 into lala churls. You know, yeah. Guys, that's maximum here, creativity. That is maximum creativity. Nah, they're gonna have like a limit and stuff, probably. Too bad. As well. But waves. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's literally what I just oh, said. Waves, Ingenuity, 50 traps, each. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> well, uh, traps. Sure, as long as it's creative. Oh, it's freaking, you have a thousand. That's the uh, cap. <laughs> this time, there will also be co op mechanics for this game mode. So if there's a stage you can't beat oh, on, your own, you can that's bring your nice. friends and try the challenges. Okay, I like or, that. Uh, I like that. Friend with the together. super OP yeah. character. <laughs> and remember, yeah. domain creators also must clear their own designs before they'll be able to share them with others. Okay, seriously, how do people clear Except, some of these uh, stages? Except whales are going to have a slightly like easier really time difficult. doing that than not uh, whales. I don't have a good My C6, you look and clear it in like five seconds. You'll be yeah, fine. Oh, oh, oh I cleared it with what? My uh, entire team of C6s with uh, five-star <laughs> weapons oh, and perfect artifacts. So... You'll be, You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You can do it. It's doable. Remember it's doable. I did it. You can do it. And let everyone play your domains. Flip. This isn't like Mario Maker, okay, guys. So this next, is. We have a challenge event called the oh. Feast of the Departed Warriors. A mysterious domain has Just appeared near all the Falcon the Coast. All past bosses. And its depths are crawling with powerful foes. Travelers will need cool. to rely on their martial prowess to defeat them and earn rewards. Oh my martial mm, prowess! Departed warriors it sounds spooky. <laughs> so spook. I thought Much so too. Much wow. <laughs> wow. Anyway, this event Whoa. should be one that many travelers are familiar with. However, let me give a quick overview oh, for anyone this mode, who might except not have seen this one yet. Yeah, it's the cube one, but not. This event has three types of dangerous adversaries awaiting our It's always kind of sad. They're each based because on the they're like unique versions that you never get a fight again. Drake yeah, I was about to say like the cool thing about the cube events is like Travelers they give them different attacks and they're really cool attacks usually. So they actually make them more of a challenge. So for anyone who like if you like any of these bosses, you may want to just do the event once just to see if there's anything unique about it. So also for the so it's free premiums. They're usually pretty easy. There, you can at least squeeze a few easy premiums out of it. Although, unless you're, I guess, new players Don't would struggle worry. a bit. Travelers but if you're, if you've been around for a while, you should be able to do it fine. By completing mm -hmm. the challenge on lower difficulties, including primo gems. Oh, thank goodness. Travelers who are do, looking do, for do, a do. real and challenge. And I'm gonna be honest. Don't the primos come out of like the easier challenges? Fight. Like I, I think yeah. it's like, yeah, you can just once just kill them once. Cool beans. <laughs> Let's yeah, I think kill him once on the event. easiest difficulty okay, and you'll get primos. So this mm. one is another return. Oh, the new Hilly Charles. Called Phase Trials Hypothesis. So maybe Face some trials. of you remember what the, what Jamie, the Sumeru researcher who was struggling That's a sick with his he's got. Puzzle. Well, this time, he needs your help as observers in an experiment. We're pretty sure all our warm-hearted and friendly travelers will give him a hand. Also, as a little, you know, incentive, um, each experiment mm -hmm. also offers rewards upon completion. Oh. Of course we're gonna help him. Besides, we're getting rewarded for offering our help, so what's there to lose? Why do I feel exactly. like I'm being targeted right now? Right? So, I mean, given our travelers uh, are honorary you are. knights of the Knights of Favonius, and heroes who have assisted the Liyue Qixing, as well as, uh, actually everyone, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Pretty much everybody at this point, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, helping this one researcher should be just another walk in the park. Okay, so during the event, travelers can defeat yeah. enemies to gain phase tinctures. Mm. When they get enough phase tinctures, they can use them to enter the yeah, okay, it's this event. state. Sick. In this state, they can identify the weaknesses of their opponents mid battle. It's, it's the one where you take the camera and then you do that. Sure, more weaknesses in their opposition before using their super sense skills. Oh to deal my goodness! Damage. Ooh, having the ability to detect weaknesses is very helpful. Okay, I don't have Kazuwa, so I Not didn't realize mention, how well he worked with Dia. Damage dealt what? by this super sense skill is pretty incredible. Oh, oh it's yeah. really cool. <laughs> I mean, that sounds really useful. It can take care of opponents in a snap. You know, like taking a picture. 
Oh, just don't I didn't need know anything. You were going to be channeling your pain. inner Sino. I didn't know. <laughs> Are the jokes getting to you, Daniel? Oh, of course not. Okay, but remember, this event requires oh, you to use the. I want to see those numbers. Ah, uh, I was wondering what the flip Ooh, was, was okay, up with these this teams. This way, everyone will be able to try out I more see. characters. Exactly. Oh, okay, look at these team comps. So these are actually pretty nice. Version 3.7. And <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, the third redemption code is coming right up. Let's have a look together. Here it comes. Yay. Get ready. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Dang, dude. Okay. So nice. wow, that art. Uh, Inazuma and also Al Haytham. Al Haytham just chilling, vibing with us. I guess he's also gonna be a part of this. Banner? Uh, not he. Of course, he's a part of the banner, but um, part of the story quest. I guess maybe he's gonna come with her. Doesn't look like we're getting any story quest at all. No, we're uh, we're getting the uh, TCG event quest. Mm -hmm. We'll get that. No Arcan quest. No uh, new area. Yeah, no new boss either. No new boss. Uh, this is gonna be a very very light update, mainly because their their main team is gonna be on Fontaine at the moment. So the next area will most likely be the in between zone. Okay. At first, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought this being a more lighter content patch would be bad for this game, but it's actually better because right now this allows uh, Honkai Star Rail to shine a bit more, which I think is actually okay. So it doesn't take away and people don't feel like, oh, flip, I'm being overwhelmed. And that's the end of today's report. It seems like all our reporters have returned to the studio now, which means we've reached the conclusion of our program. This has been so much fun. I can't believe it's over already. It happened so fast. I know. <laughs> I wish we had even more to share. So how did you all enjoy being on the program today? Oh my gosh. It has been so, so cool being on the program. And Oh, I can't wait for oh. people to hear Kirara. Oh, she's so cute. I just she is ah. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is so much fun. I've been wanting to do one of these programs for the longest time, and I'm so excited that I get to be here and talk about Yoimiya. And also, I'm super excited for Julia and Maya to be joining the cast to welcome yeah. you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh this my has been gosh. Amazing. This has been so much fun today, and um, I am just also really excited for these mini games, mini events. Yeah. I'm so excited, yeah. especially the Evermotion Mechanical Painting. Mini games, big excitement. I'm excited for the TCG <laughs> yes. stuff, honestly. I'm that, excited for I all that. That puzzles. looks great to I me. Which there is a lot Don't of. Don't forget, there's a strange case to investigate at the tournament ground, so Ooh. players should be sure to check that out. Um, and yeah, I was happy to join the program with you all and share all these details about version 3.7 with everyone. So hope you all have a fantastic time in the upcoming update. All right, this is the end of our program. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Guys. Why did I just fight the urge to say bye? I I don't know why. Yeah, that did just come over me as well. What? Oh. 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 Here we go. What is this? Oh dang. Oh dang. Oh, is this Fontaine? I. Huh. Swimming. Okay, Underwater. confirmed. Okay, they're just teasing us. Flap. No. It's just a tease. No, I saw that. I see that blue. I see that blue on the trap. Oh, I see that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're right. I see he that blue. He is glowing blue. That's, that's, uh, that's Hydro Traveler. Yep, he's glowing blue. Oh, flip. Let's go, baby. Oh, flip. Let's freaking go, Okay, dude. so this confirms that swimming is a thing. A lot of people have- No. It had been rumored. I don't know if that was- I feel like swimming just is kind of an obvious choice for Fontaine. I mean, so, swimming has technically been in the game. It's been in the game, so now it's just you can Not dive. diving, but this may only be unique to Fontaine. I'm wondering, yeah, will they allow... Because th that was the thing that kind of got out a while ago. People, There was a rumor like that went into the rumor mill for a while there that there would be like a new diving mechanic. And if that's a thing, I wonder if you can do that like anywhere now. But if that would be hard. Anywhere, that is a lot. That's of, a they're going to have to... There's the entirety of the ocean between Inazuma and everywhere else. But like, think of like Mondstadt. There's just like the lake area around Mondstadt, like the little like moat. That would make the game really big. I would like that. If they do that, I think that would be insane. But that would, that would be a lot of work. That would be a lot of work and a lot of content on top of Fontaine, Fontaine existing. That, that is them updating the entirety of the Genshin map. So, whew. yeah, um... I, I can I can almost see it already right now. There's probably someone going like, oh, there's not a lot of new stuff happening in this patch. 
there's we're getting, a lot coming. There's a lot coming. Hey. See, that's the thing. There so, is content in the future. And even though this does feel like a lighter patch uh, when it comes to the content, uh, it's still kind of massive if you think about it. There's going to be a new event, whole bunch of new TCG stuff, an event quest for that. Let's not forget that um, Star Rail is uh, a thing right now. Star Rail is a thing. And so is Tears of the Kingdom. Which, so Which I'm is kind really of okay. hard to compete against both of those things at the I, moment. I think MiHoYo is playing it safe, and they're adding a lot of cool stuff to Genshin. We also have the Yoi Mia story quest. Mm -hmm. That's going to be like an hour or two hours of content. It's some nice... It's, it's just some nice stuff to do. It's Nothing a buffer. To stress about. It's just fun card game stuff. I say that, but oh no. That's probably going to be really hard later on, and winning five times in a row... Is the, is the winning five times in a row against real people? Yes. yes oh, it is. dang. You only get three lives to lose. Oh, so it's like, a, it's, um, uh, it's, uh, like, the Legends of Runeterra. Yeah. It's that event. Uh, but they made you do six games, I think. They made you, had, you do a lot. You had to win six and you could lose two, I think. Which, am I, this am I correct? is a little nicer than that. That was so hard to do in that game. Oh, we did it, though. We, we did it. We sure did it. Uh, with an unpopular deck at the time too, but that has nothing to do with anything happening right now. But freaking, uh, yeah, I'm really hyped for Fontaine. Uh, I'm I'm loving the characters, by the way. The new I'm excited characters. for the huge update coming to the TCG, and also next patch because it'll. It, rumor has it that 3.8 will be the final Sumeru patch. So if that is the end of Sumeru, uh, then and it looks like we're probably going to see more on the next update. Show yeah. us a little more Fontaine. Okay, so the next update will probably give us a lot of concept art. Hopefully. They're going to show off the in-between zone they're probably going to give us. Also, I think this is a, 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 a solid warning to give now. If the next patch is the final patch before Fontaine, that usually means they're going to introduce either in the next patch or the one afterwards a really powerful character. So sit, start saving up. Just start saving start up. Start saving up. I'll hate them is coming back. So, okay, if so, you need a Dendro character, go for all hate If you need someone that's really strong, he's coming back. He's great. He's great. He's he's really, I mine is still terribly built. And I am still dealing stupid amounts of damage. No, your, your Alhatham is level 60 and you're fighting level 90 something character. Like and I'm killing them really fast. Elemental reactions, guys. They're really good. Then again, my, uh, my uh, characters that I actually are building for elemental reaction, I, I, I do... Have their elemental mastery okay? Yeah. My artifacts suck, dude. My my artifact chances suck. I <sighs> my drops aren't good. <laughs> but uh yeah, I guess with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh tell us what you thought of this live stream. That's kind of all our thoughts on it. At least mine. Daniel, do you have anything you want to add? Both characters look great. The camera girl they showed off, or just her character seems amazing. Do you think she'll be in the next patch? Do you think we'll get her in the next one? Who knows? Maybe she's our really OP middle of the road character that's going to be here between now and That'd be kind of funny. Just that would be reporter. hilarious. The Rep reporter girl. I don't know. Make her March 7th. Make her March, <laughs> make her March 8th. 10th. Mar March 8th. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Yes. <laughs> Self plagiarism. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. That's only not allowed if you're doing a research paper. <laughs> you can self plagiarize all you want. You're not. Uh, unless it's in wrong. school or for a very important document. Those are the two times you're not allowed to self plagiarize. Also, no, you can't just recycle papers in school because they actually want you to write something new. Blah, blah, blah. It sounds like a personal vendetta you have. It is. You have a grudge. Well, because I, I, cause it sucks whenever you make like a good paper that falls under s multiple subjects. You can, I think, and then you just can't use it. Can't, you can reference your past like papers, but you cannot. You cannot. Um, I can't use just them. be like, oh, this paper covers both of these two different, completely different classes and subjects really well. <sighs> Too bad I can only use it for one of them. That is so painful to hear. Honestly. Or the worst part is you have to cut it in half and then like. <sighs> Something we need to do actually before the day is out, we need to put our codes in so we don't forget. Indeed. We well, need with to do that, that, ladies and gentlemen, let us know. Are you excited for the new character? Are you excited for the TCG stuff? And are you excited for Fontaine? Oh, dude, I'm so freaking hyped. I see that. I, I see that. Blue. They're not even showing us. They're just showing us water. They're in showing this us trailer. water, and, and they're I... showing us him glowing blue. This could be Monstead for all we know. This may not even be Fontaine that he's in right now. Or Inazuma's waters. It could be Inazuma. This does look kind of like uh, Sango no Mia. But everything. regardless, they're showing us a new mechanic yep. and the aqua. 
The blue traveler. <laughs> the blue. La blue. The blue traveler. Well, we love you all. And we'll see you, Lord willingly, guys, in that next one. Bye, Bye. everybody.